What's up, everybody? It's Dimitri Twelve 12 here, bringing you back with another episode of Naruto Shippuden, an opening and strong for beginner to master tutorials. If you guys do not know beginner master tutorials, it's just basically choose one character out of the whole roster and check us everything I know about that single character. Now, you guys have been asking for Neji for quite a long time. I have been trying to get this video out for the longest time, but I keep having to record it because something always goes wrong. But hopefully, hopefully this video goes out through goes through and um uh, let me just tell you that neji is truly one of the best characters in this game because neji he is definitely a rushdown character and if you like the um if you like like the rushdown type of characters in games like in injustice i think cheetah uh in broader rushdown characters or in the new game dragon ball z fighters uh yamcha or um uh, who else is a rushdown character uh don't know. I think I don't know. It's Yamcha's rush down character, but he is very rushed down, and also this character is um, very combo-y. Like he, this is like Itachi has a lot of combos, Neji has a lot of combos, and Rock Lee, Rock has not combos, for example. But he has a lot of combos, and he has a lot of options at close range. But his weakness is he does lack the range capability. Like he has no range whatsoever. But if you play Neji the right way. It probably won't even matter because he'd be doing so much damage to the opponent. So I'm having a fun time telling you about Neji Hugo. So if you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for more beginner master tutorials. Make sure to see what else you want me to do for the next episode. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so let's get started. So I have almost never said this about any other character. But Neji, he's he's kind of like all three types. He's kind of like he's he's he has the speed to be a speed type. He has the defense for his juices and his tilt to be a defense type. And he has the um power to be an attack type. So he's kind of all three. He's an attack, defense, and speed type. That is extraordinary. Like he is so like I'm I mean, I'm, I can't wait to get into this character. But he is so good. But he has a lot of stuff going for him. So the first thing I want to mention about Neji is that he has one of the fastest priority hits. Like when I mean my priority hits, I mean like if Neji and Naruto press the attack button at the exact time, Neji will go first because he has the faster um, first hit. And um, I think okay, so don't call me on this, but I think Neji, Itachi, um, the last Sasuke, and shoot, who has the fast priority? Uh, I actually don't know, but those three, yeah, those are the fastest priorities in the game. I think the last Sasuke is the fastest, or maybe you touch. No, one of those fa very fast characters. Maybe Hanzo. I don't know, but maybe one of those fast characters. But let's go on and get into his combo. So let's go with this neutral combo. All right, so the neutral combo is very fast, as you can see, very fast. Here's a down combo. And here is the up combo along with the air combo. Alright, so let's get into Neji's combo. So, alright, so, uh, let's go with the neutral combo first. So the neutral combo is definitely the fast. It's like, it is really fast, and it ends off in quite good damage. So, this is the fastest, this is the fastest thing Neji has. And it goes to, and it goes to good damage. So, overall, this is a really good move. And um, I had to just um, I had to just use this most often if they do have subs because you can actually um, it's so fast that they may they may just slip up at one point and um, don't sub because it actually really is fast and there's a lot of damage too. So if you attack along with the strike back, oh my god, it's 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 like unbelievable. But um, um, yeah, it's it's really fast and I had to just in combo. Um, end off stuff with this like if they're really trying to save two subs or one sub and they just resistant to subbing you go with this neutral combo go with this because it's because um you know you're not gonna get, get a lot of damage up as you will with the down combo but you know what it's still a decent damage and it's really fast so you can punish very quickly especially when the subs are regenerated all right so next we're going to the down combo so the down combo is indeed the strongest um combo that neji has See that does a, a buckload of damage. That's like uh, that's like Naruto and Hashirama damage right there. Like that's really a lot. So this is the combo you really want to be punishing with 
um, whenever you whenever you have an opportunity. And the best thing about this down combo is that it is also an infinite combo. That is just delicious. Just like that. Not, I did not want to do that, but it is also an infinite combo. So um, when you have an infinite combo that is also the down combo, which is the strongest combo, that makes it so much more better. So I think Mei has an infinite combo that's also a down combo, which makes her um, powerful. Rock Lee has a down combo, which, I mean, an infinite combo, which was the down combo. It makes him powerful, so this is really powerful. Right here, after the first Sonic Boom, you stop and reset your combo. So, yeah, so this, what I recommend to really, really punish the opponent. Let's say they have no subs and you have the advantage you really want to punish. Do the infinite combo once. And then go straight into the neutral combo. Because you, because you do that, you're getting a lot of damage off in the very quickest time in there you can dish out. So, you do the neutral combo, I mean, you do the down combo, or the infinite combo, and you go straight into the neutral combo, that is going to be very fast damage, and I guarantee you that that is going to be enough to enough damage but before their subs start regenerating, because that is just a lot of damage in a lot of um, very quick time. So, infinite combo first. Neutral combo, seconds. But only if you really want to punch, because if you if they do have subs, then they can easily sub this out. So only do this when they have no subs whatsoever. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the up combo. So the up combo is actually somewhat special to his jutsu. So once you get into his jutsu, um, it's going to be more relevant. But other than that, it's, it's not really anything that's special. Just a regular up combo, nothing I can find out about it. Now let's go into his air combo. His air combo is really good. And this is one of the um, traits that makes him a defense type character because in his air combo he creates another force field. And let me let me tell you, this force field literally protects you from anywhere. It's a legit force field. So even if they try to um, um, sub and try to um, dash at you from behind, it still won't work as as long as this force field is out. And this is just part of his air combo that makes this really good. So. Um, it's really good. Uh, oh, oh, um, um, my team. Um, I forgot to put this in the menu, but my team is always Rock Lee, Shikamaru, and Neji. And um, I have literally made those characters since Storm Three, really. And this has saved me so many times because they can't get past this whenever I do an air combo. So I can just keep doing this and kind of wait for it a little bit and kind of try to predict their subs and try to make them sub into my um, air combo so they can get hit by the force field and they can, can't get any combo potential off. So that's really, really useful. Alright, so I'm going to go into his tilt and his grab. So let's go into his tilt first. We never start with the tilt. Um, his tilt is he he does three medium range sonic uh, or air palms as it's called. I thought sonic for some reason. So they're, yeah, they're medium range. They don't go very far. Well, they do, they do go very far, I guess. It's, it's okay. The last hit goes kind of far, but um, it goes average damage like uh, right here. I mean, average range is right here. Does no damage whatsoever. But if you get him out of the corner, it does lead him to a straight back. See right there. And along that you can get an air combo off of that as well. Now the really the really good thing about this um, air palm is that um, it stuns the opponent for quite a long time. Even if you don't get the full combo off, it's just the first two hits stun the opponent for quite a long time. So let's say um, Naruto's back there, I use my air palm, and then I switch to Rock Lee, and then I get a combo off just like that. Or, or if you want to do another way, do the air palm. Switch to Rock Lee and then throw them. Or you want to do Tintin. I don't know why you have Tintin in your team, but once you do Tintin, go to throw with Tintin and it will also combo up. So this is a really um, switch and tilt. This is a really good switch and tilt and it has range to it too. So boom, 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 Just like that. And it's, it's a really good way of getting off a combo with another character. And an another good way is that um, to use this, not just from range, but if they hit your guard. Let me see. And I'll turn this off. Oh, this was on all this time. Wow. Um, if they hit your guard, turn this on here. Charge, trigger dash, trigger dash. You can instantly cancel into your tilt. See, just like that. It's a good way to get your tilt off. And you say, just get back. Just like that. 
Or if you get really good with his tails, you can actually um use one of your guard break tails. Like just like that. If you it wants to get really good with his tails, but um that takes some that takes a little bit of practice. So it, it's you can kinda of work around this tail. There's not really much I can tell you about this tail except use it from at a distance or use it the way it just tells you when they hit your guard. But I'm there's, there's a lot of potential with this. So like I can't be too sh you can't you don't have to be too sure with this. Just use it how you want to because there's it's three chances of hitting. I mean it's three, yeah, it's three chances of hitting and it locks onto the opponent, so you really don't have to be too careful about it. You just kinda of use it and switch and get some damage off. Next thing I'm gonna do is his grab. So um what am I doing? His grab is very short range. Like it's very short range. But the perk to this grab is that you can actually combo off this grab. I think this is the only grab you can actually combo off it. So let me show you. Grab the opponent, jump, and you can instantly go into an air combo. And if you're really good with Neji, you can use it as a ground combo. Um that was the exact timing. There we go, I got it. Boom, boom. Oh, I messed up. I, I want to do the neutral combo, but yeah, you can actually combo from the ground or you can combo from the um, air from a throw. So it's kind of your choice, and this makes this grab so much good. It's so good because no, I don't, I don't think any other grab can do this. Like honestly, I don't think any other grab can do this. So this is specifically to Neji why he is very good. So um, to get this grab off, I suggest you do um. Right there, the first, the first four hits off, boom, 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 boom. just like that. Now, I highly recommend you use this when you're when they're guarding most of the time, because when they're guarding, they kind of never expect this coming. Because who expects ninjas to throw? Like seriously, they expect you to keep pressure on the opponent, not to actually throw the opponent and then get a combo off. So, boom, perfect range. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so with this grab cancel, I actually recommend um, don't use it a little, don't use it like all the time because they're gonna get used to it. Just use use it as the wind's most expected. Like take the enemy by surprise. Use it like once once you do a combo, and um, the best thing is you can get a combo off this. So um, yeah, use it wisely and try to get the most damage off with your combos. Look at that! I was hitting his toes. I was hitting his toes. Look how much a throw and a neutral combo does. Yeah, yeah. Uses 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 a lot. Uses a lot. Um, don't use it too frequently that the opponent will know what you're doing. But use this um kind of most of the time because this is going to be one of Neji's best features in this in this in this whole thing. It's going to be his best. I'm I'm pretty sure. Our right, next we're going to go into his Jutsu and Ultimate Jutsu cancel. So his Jutsu is the 8 Trigrams Palm Rotation, which is his trademark Jutsu pretty much. Um, it's pretty much just a force field. A legit force field. It doesn't block any projectiles, it just blocks all um, um, opponents, like if they dash into you, it knocks them back. And also it also your strike back as well. Boom. Just like that, it also strike back. And the best thing is you can also do it in the air as well to make it a very big force field in the air. And this is a blessing in um, if you have it for support because um, if you do this in the air, it covers so much and it's instant too. So it is one of the best supports and it goes into a strike back as well. So we're gonna go 10 10, you know, to do something like for once. There we go. Okay, I need to get by this corner. Get out the corner. There we go. 10 10. I didn't want you to do your thing like that. Okay, just. Let's jump up in this way. Boom. There we go. Leads it to his own strike back. Nice. There we go. That's all women. I just wanted to say. But um it's it's super good support just because I I just almost all the time you use it in the air as support because it is so good. You see how much range it covers. It covers pretty almost like your whole character. It's it's, it's really good. But using it as Neji. It is extremely good as well for extending your combos because you can actually cancel it just like that. So, if you wanted to do guard pressure, until then guard on, if you want to do guard pressure, you can actually use the rotation, cancel it, and then instantly break their guard if you wanted to do that. That's one way. Or, here's where the up combo comes in. So, the up combo, right 
right there cancels into the um cancels into the um oh shoot I just forgot I'm gonna call it force because I just forgot what it's called just like that it cancels it actually cancels into the um um tri ground oh my god I can't remember I just got force it cancels to the force though um, and you can actually get another combo off if you wanted to so dang that's a lot of damage oh my god so yeah you can do like that or there's many other ways to do it but I recommend if you're gonna use the Jutsu as Neji I recommend using it um um when you do a combo try to predict if your opponent is going to sub so I can do it right now right now and, and because if they sub that it's gonna sub behind them and it's gonna hit them just like that so kind of just predict what they're gonna do try to predict um when they're gonna sub pretty much because you never know what they're gonna do so you're gonna they're gonna sub early gonna do your um force field early you're gonna sub a little bit late you're gonna need to um use your um rotation late so it's kind of just predicting kind of just this is comes from experience like you're gonna have to get good with neji and try to predict the opponent's sub and then um parry them with the, the, with the force field so that's that's pretty much a way to use it. It's like a very good counter, and I think it's the only way to use it. Yeah, because um, there's no real way to use it except to extend pressure, to block um, the opponent's sub, or just a, a good ender to get some um, for some good damage. Because it does it does end really well. So that's three ways to use it. So it's it's so sort of really wow. That's a lot of damage. Dang. Oh my god. So what happens? Okay. So I'm just curious. Oh my god, that's all from one throw. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, but pretty much in short term, Nancy Juicy is just really good. I told you three ways how to use this, so you can use it any of those three ways because you don't have to be too strict about Nancy because he has a lot of potential to go on of. That's why I wanted to, yeah, I, can, I just remember, good thing I did the down combo, because I thought I was forgetting something, so, um, a good thing to do this is, if you really want to punish, do the infinite combo, flip forward, and then do the eight trigon spawn rotation, that's why I forgot, um, I just remembered, so this really does do a lot of damage, this is like the maximum damage that Ninja can do with the down combo, which makes this his strongest combo in general. Look how much damage it does! Wow. So let's see. So like, if you really wanted to punish, do an infinite combo, then do your cancel. Oh my goodness! And two strike back too. Oh my goodness! That's a bar. If you really want to punish with Neji, oh my god. All right. And the best thing is when you do the infinite combo and you cancel to the eight strike rounds. Um, it actually protects you. So if they try to sub, try to sub, they're just gonna sub into the force field, and they're still gonna get hit. So yeah, by the way, um, if you this force field, you can't sub out of it at all. It just you can't sub out of it. So it's in is the insubable juice. So let's move on to his other um, let's move on to his other um ultimate juice. So his ultimate juice that he has is the not not that not that not okay. I guess we're gonna look at this. I did the back to the okay. Yeah, Team Team Neji. Okay, I ain't gonna lie, that does look cool. But interesting thing, um, I don't know. It was one of the Naruto Shippuden movies. Um, they actually did use this technique, except they didn't use Tenten. They just used Neji and Rock Lee. I don't remember which movie it is. But um, they actually did use this technique. I'm like, what? I guess that's where they got it from. But uh, let's move on. So his ultimate juice is the A Tricon 64 Palms. So pretty much this is also an easy um, ultimate cancel. You just use the use the infinite combo pretty much. Backflip. And use uh, A Tricon from my Lotus. Oh my God! That's the A Tricon from my Lotus. What's wrong with me? <laughs> Neji's been dead for so long, I don't know his techniques anymore. Uh. But yeah, I'll do the infant combo, back step, 
or four or four step doesn't really matter and then just use your ultimate very simple very clean too so now i'll be right back with the other ultimate jutsu and jutsu that energy has so i'll be right back all right this time i'm back this time i have got his ultimate jutsu which is the eight trigrams air palm so this jutsu shoots on air palm does it go full screen i don't think it goes full screen if this thing goes full screen i'm gonna i'm allowed Okay, yeah, I, I just to go full screen. So he goes around this way. Medium range, medium long range. Barely long range, actually. Uh, does it go all the way back here? It does! Wow. Okay, so what about all the way back here? Okay, yeah, this is this is too far. But this juicy air palm, it actually helps out Neji with his range weakness because the one thing Neji is not good at is having a lot of range so he can actually if you get someone like uh what's a good character Obito I actually did a tutorial on like the last video if I if you do Obito I'm um, teaching he has a lot of range to him or Kisame but if you can use the air palm it actually take care it actually takes care of that a little bit because you have some range to defend yourself from or if someone's spamming fire stuff fire about jutsus and you, you can't really get in you can actually just use the air palm to make up for that weakness pretty much now using it as neji um you can use it as an as, at medium range to kind of trick up your opponent can you use it through the tail let me see nah you can't oh i wish this was a generation so you can cancel through the tail oh that'd be so fun but they took that oh, they took the thing out but um using as neji it is a very good ender like um medium range does a lot of damage for like a, a juice and that some energy. Or using it um at the end of the down combo. Like can I not use it? Let me see. Okay, looks like I can't cancel my jutsu over the up combo. Let me see. Oh barely. Wow, that is a lot. Wow. Wow, that was a really good ender. Wow. So use the up combo right for the last hit. It looks like it shouldn't connect up, but it does. That's really weird. Can I use the air? No, I cannot. So yeah, so a good so the ender that I recommend you doing with Neji if you, um to end off this combo is the up combo. Right before the last hit, just cancel the air pump, and that does a really good damage. Wow. That's like a better ender than the the the, the um a trigrams rotation. Wow, that's a that's a really good damage. Wow, wait for Neji. So yeah, so if you wanna if you wanna um take care of the range a little bit of the range problem that Neji has, and if you want to get a, get a good ender for your combos, then I highly just recommend I recommend you do this one most often. Like and even at support, like this is really good. Like it's really good for covering this. Really good for covering. So using the air, does it work on the ground? Yes, it does. So it sees slower on the ground, but in the air, it comes out instantly, which is good. And you kind of want to make it a little slower. Oh, this is going far. There we go. So um, as support, there's no combo potential whatsoever. It's really just a, really just a juice to push them away. So it's not the best support, like at all, compared to the other one. But using as energy, it is quite useful. So yeah, so yeah, so pretty much if you want to play, if you want to play um, more of the defensive and type Neji with the force fields, then I highly recommend you use that most often for getting pressure and on all that crap. If you want to take out the range problem that Neji has, then use this one. So it's kind of just up to you. You kind of have to practice with both and make a decision and find out which one's better. And you probably, um, it kind of depends on your team as well. Alright, so let's move on to... Neji's other ultimate juice, which is the Hugo Clan thing. Yeah, I want to see this one. I haven't seen this one in so long. Like, it's just the game game. I haven't seen this one. Oh, this is dope. Oh. Okay, two things. One, when they said the, the Hugh Clan the strongest in the Leaf Village, um, it was a little off. 
I'm not sure that's just English dub being crap, but um, it's a little off. I don't know, it's like Neji's voice was behind and Lil Hiroshi's voice was like a little bit ahead of everybody with Hinata. It's just, it's just, it's out of sync. And I think that if anybody got hit by the Ultimate Jutsu, they are dead. Like, anybody, like Madara, like, anybody. I mean, let's look on to his ultimate form. Super Saiyan Neji, I guess. So Neji, he gains the power to be like, he turns his big one on. Um, there's nothing really different about him except he has a left trigger and a right trigger, which it actually takes care of the range as well. The great um, Trigon's uh, great sky palm. Um, does decent damage. It does go longer range than the um, air palm. It doesn't go full screen though. Wow, mate, wait, whoa. Mate, does it do full screen? It uses full screen right here. Boom. Okay, it does do full screen, but it does do longer range than the air palm. So. Um, do I have my else? Okay, yeah, that's don't have the, um, don't have my, um, uh, what's called, um, rotation. So, Neji, I mean, there's really nothing different about him except he does, he's a lot faster, he does more damage, and as you can see from the opponent's, uh, chalker bar, he actually sucks the chalker off of him, so the more damage you do to your opponents, the, the less chalker they're gonna have, so, this is really useful, like, this is, like, really useful because they can't, Per se, dash away, and it actually lasts um, even after the awakening is over. Now, as you can see right there, the chakra bar actually regenerates back a little bit, but still, you can suck out the chakra just like the freaking show. If you can, that's cool. I think Neji is not the only person can do this, so that's cool. So yeah, so like constant, constant stuff. I mean, constant hits with Neji can suck up the chakra, so it's kind of a perk, not really something you should be aiming for. Like, I'm gonna suck up the chakra and they're gonna have no chakra, so it's, it's, it's way too slow for that, so don't focus way too much on that. And does he have infinite chakras? I know he not has infinite chakra. Or a soccer has infinite chakra. Does he have infinite chakra? Let me see. Uh, turn the chakra off. Chakra off. Uh, no, he does not, so I'd like to have infinite chakra. That's, that would be so cool if he did. But uh, let's. But pretty much nothing different about Neji. So pretty much you know, the way you want to be doing with the awakening and for Neji is getting pressure off, like just going in and just getting them hands off because Neji he breaks the guard super quickly in this awakening form. And the best thing is you can just keep on going by canceling you know, your great palms and just keep on going. Like, keep on. You have to keep with pressure, Neji. Like, like you have to. You have to go. You have to break that guard. You just go. Now you will have to be careful because um, a sub if you a sub too much and you can get countered very easily. But you got you have to play smart. Like you have to play like an actual smart character and just avoid subs. But um, when you're in a waking form, go ham. Just go in, rush down them so hard, and just do it. Do everything you would do in if you were using your regular Neji, like out of his waking form, because there's nothing really different about him. And um, you can use your great your eight trigons air pump to finish off a combo. So if I did this, if you stop block, okay, okay, there we go. So if I did if I did a down combo, then up combo, then finish it with my air pump. Whoa, that does a lot of damage. Wow, wow, that's a lot of damage. So if you do those two, that's pretty much a whole bar right there. You just got off a whole bar because you punished correctly. Uh, combo bam look at that mess oh my god that's just so much and i think you're which one does more damage yeah the air air pump does way more damage than the um great sky pump so i actually just only using the great sky pump for range only and using the air so they won't really predict what you're going to do so this so this kind of takes care of uh, niji's range problem a little bit more but in this way before my position just go in play smart and just get as much pressure and damage up as you can because that's the energy specialty all right, so I'll be right back to give you the sh uh, some strategies to do with Neji in his non-awakening form. So I'll be right back. All right, so Neji in his non-awakening form, the strategy you want to be going for is just getting in there because Neji sucks at medium and long range. Even with his not not that, even with his jutsu being a triangle's air palm, he he sucks. So you're gonna have to get in there and get as much damage as you can and punish with the infinite combo. Oh, Punch with the um, infinite combo and then the neutral combo. That's what you want to be punching with the most. 
or or if you want to punch with the neutral combo I mean punch with the down combo, uh, the infantry combo, then do the up combo to the air palm, you can do that as well. So it's kind of your choice. It's kind of what you want to punish with the most. But the general strategy is you want to be up in the opponent's face and and using Niji especially like if you if they're gonna sub an air combo, use the force field to kind of bait them out a little bit and stay with sub and just stay on them and occasionally use your grab cancel and then get a combo off that. One of those two. So yeah, so pretty much as Neji and as close range, you own them. Like, like you own them pretty much. Cause he will outspeed them. He or he will outspeed most characters in game. He will outspeed them. He will um out prioritize. Yeah, he he will do all that crap. And he has like a, a, a tilt for medium range and just switch. So yeah, just you kind of have to use up all Neji stuff. And just stay close to the opponent as much as possible. And if you run out of subs, you can play kind of the defensive game with your tele with your um force fields and your air palm and just kind of stay back. So just kinda you're gonna have to work with him. Like just but most importantly he's a rush on character, so keep on the pressure. But that is the end for Neji's uh tutorial. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you leave a like down below if you did enjoy. Um subscribe for more Begin My Stories. Make sure you guys tell me these for the next character. My name is Vitz Web, and I'll see you guys next time.